Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Banquet Mega Meats meal. This one is the original classic boneless chicken strips. Um, there they are. So it is breaded white meat chicken patty strips with spicy macaroni and cheese. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, this one is a big meal. It is 12.6 ounces or 357 grams. It is frozen, of course. Um, we bought these at Walmart. They were $2.97. I'm sure they sell them other places, but that just happens to be where we got them. 34 grams of protein. It says it is new, so we'll we'll see. So calorie-wise, my camera's a little low at an angle. 650 calories, and here's the other information for you. The leg is kind of enough. There we go. Focus. There's your other information. It's a little crooked, but you get the idea. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely not a healthy meal. 111% of your daily sodium in this one meal. So if you got high blood pressure, you probably don't want to eat this thing. But it looks good. All right, so we can do the oven if you want to. Uh, we, of course, we don't do ovens, but there's the directions if you want. We do microwaves. So in the microwave, we are going to remove film from the meal. Okay, remove the chicken strips. Okay, microwave on high for one and a half minutes. Stir the macaroni and cheese, replace the chicken strips, and microwave an additional four to four and a half minutes. I'll, I'll figure out how long I need it. Probably just do the four, but we'll see. Uh, make sure it's cooked thoroughly. So, remove the film completely. So let me see if I can... Focus. There, we go. Right, there it is. Um, see it. Four chicken strip, maybe five pieces of chicken, and there's your macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to take this film off and get it in the microwave, and uh, I'll put these on a paper towel or something while I'm waiting. And then anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave and uh, stir this up really good. It smells really good. It smells spicy, that's for sure. Um, they ended up being seven chicken nuggets, little ch chicken tenders or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to, they're stuck together a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take this over the table and, um, ooh, hot, and uh, I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to try the macaroni first. There you go, big bite. Hot. Texture is perfect. It's spot on. Cooked really, really well. It's still got a little bit of a firmness to it. It's not mushy. It, that's good. It has a really good cheese flavor too. Not only does it have um, a little bit of a, a pepper flavor, like a, let's say a green and red pepper, like a bell pepper flavor, um, has a peppery flavor, but it also has a little bit of spice to it. It's not overly spicy to where it I mean, you get a little tingle in the back of your throat, but it's not really bad. Um, maybe if you absolutely hated spicy foods at all, you never like to hear, feel a tingle, um, you might not be able to eat it. But if you don't mind just a little bit, it, it's perfectly fine. I don't, I don't think you'll, uh, I don't think you'll be able to have any problems with it. That's good. I like, I like the macaroni. So let me get a chicken. Um, I just get the one on top. I'm just gonna stab it and bite it. So they're fairly thin. I like the flavors of it though. The flavors are really good. It has, um, has a good seasoning to it. You can taste the chicken, but you also get the breading. The good thing is most of these don't feel, they feel pretty dry uh, as far as the breading goes. The breading's not um, wet and mushy is what I mean. It's, uh, it's a firm breading. It's actually, uh, it's almost like a breading instead of a batter. I really like these. I bet you these are the same um, chicken tenders they use in the buffalo ones. They just put a buffalo sauce on it. If I had to guess, I bet you it's the same thing because it has the same kind of feel and texture as that breading that they use on the buffalo ones. Um, I like it. The chicken's, the chicken's good. It's not exciting. It does have a decent flavor. It's not, um, you know, it's not anything special. But it does have the quality that the breading is really good and um, and dry. It's not mushy and squishy. Um, so I like that. I wish the flavors of the, the seasonings in it was just a little more elevated. But I do like it. And the macaroni and cheese are really good. I, I do really enjoy it. It doesn't it doesn't taste like um, a box macaroni and cheese meal that uses a powder. It actually tastes like it has cheese in it. So that's a good thing. Um, overall, I think this meal is really good. Of course, the the, the 
nutritional information is ridiculous, but um, but it is it is a mega meat meal. So what do you expect? Um, I'm gonna give this meal four out of five. I really do like it. I, I enjoy the chicken. I think uh, if you're not worried about calories, um, if you had some uh, sweet and sour sauce or barbecue or something like that, you could dip the chicken tenders in and it would be better. But um, I do think that the flavor of the chicken is a little light, but it, it's still really, really good. And it goes really well with the spicy macaroni. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Uh, definitely worth trying out if you see them in your area and you don't mind the calories and the, and the sodium. And uh, I'll catch you next time.